Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now, please return to your bed. Good so... <laughs> you have been in suspension for... Nine, 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 <laughs> nine, nine... Hey, everybody. Hello? Anyone in there? Fletcher Stump here. Hello? Yeah, you know what, hang on. Ah! Ah! Oh, God, you look... Um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Well, don't... Answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. <laughs> so, hey, everybody. Right, <laughs> Fletcher yeah, Stump here. Yeah, yeah. I decided to go through Portal oh. 2. Because I love this game. I absolutely love this game. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand <laughs> what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay. You know What's what? What's the TV say? Just hold tight. Oh. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I'm not I'm paying for that. I am You're not really paying for that. Water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole <laughs> relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? Nope, can't Good. go out the front door. <laughs> Am I gonna make it through? But I'll have space. Uh, just, just gotta get through here. Okay, I just gotta concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hear that one. I hear that one. I must say, this room okay, listen. is trash, and right? it anyone is not asks, my fault. And no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. I don't want to go. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could be a bit technical. <laughs> Hold on. A manual override on a wall. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. <laughs> I don't want to go. You can't make me leave. 
Ah, eh, screw it. Here we go. Now I'll be honest. Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture <laughs> Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. So, everybody, as I was saying, I'm Fletcher Stump. Welcome back to Radioactive Inc., and we are going to run through Portal, because... Or, well, Portal 2, more specifically, and I gotta say, I absolutely love this game. I loved it when it came out, I loved it when I played through it like the 80,000 times that I did, and I still love it now. This is a game that just never gets old. It really doesn't. So, I decided, what the hell, let's play Portal. And I don't know how loud it was for you guys, but god damn it was loud. If cube and button based testing cost us emergency, don't worry. Jesus. The odds of this twice are very slim. I turn this shit down, it's still loud as hell in my ears. So I really hope it's not too loud for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna try to make these episodes not too long, but you know, with at least some some sustenance to it, you know? And if there are any issues that you guys notice uh, when you're watching this, please leave it for me in the comments so I can fix it later. Relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your tablets. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. <laughs> I love this game. The explanations are so fucking crazy. Go, weighted cube! Go on without me! Where was the door? Ugh. Back and forth, back and forth. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will remind you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm sorry. No, no matter how many times I play, it's like, uh, with all that stuff sitting on the elevator, I don't think so. I really don't. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. <laughs> animal king takeover service announcement. Everybody run! <laughs> hey, you made it! Oh God. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. The oh! Down we go! Hello? Thank God for my boots. Did you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, should have asked that first. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm still waiting for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait for you, <laughs> and I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Right. I'll bury you. <laughs> Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. <laughs> I've been provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. I love this game. Funny in the first okay. game, funny in the second the game. Military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics. Please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. <laughs> so, like I said, I played this game like years ago when it had first come out, and you know, I, I instantly loved it. Then it was, 
you know, I, I love how it made you think. And then, like, as I played through it more and more, I fell in love with, like, the dialogues because I actually started Mr. listening. Is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. <laughs> Well, there went the music, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. This has been uh, Fletcher Stump reminding you to keep the beat. Eh, yeah, I don't want to. I'm too lazy. Great work. Fine. This message is pre-recorded. Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. <laughs> Ratman! Ratman's been through here, everybody. If you don't know about Ratman, you need to go learn about Ratman. Just saying. He, he's a very, very key player in a lot of things. So if you don't know about Ratman, you need to go learn about him. He carries a companion cube with him at all times. I'm sorry I'm not talking too much, I just... Uh. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I know I should be talking more, but, like, listening to the dialogue is, like, way better than anything I could be saying. Now that you have got to admit on. Yeah, like, this stuff is just way better than anything I could come up with. Got my cube! Damn it! I messed up. Oh, no wait, no I didn't. I'm good. False alarm everybody, I'm good. Don't worry everybody, I got this. I know what I'm doing. Sort of. Maybe, possibly, not really. Well done. Yay! He's complimenting me. You are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. <laughs> oh god, I love this game so much. Listening to the stuff they say, it's fucking great. This next test applies the principles of momentum <laughs> to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> I think that has got to be my favorite line out of this entire thing. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> that has really got to be my favorite line ever. Shit, I messed up. No wait, no I didn't. You run a hole!
Come with me, you. You're on a hole. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. <laughs> welcome. God, I love doing that. All right, uh, that's where we're gonna cut this for now, though. Um, I am gonna run through the entire game, so uh, make sure you stick around, uh, you know, and enjoy the series. Like seriously, I'm. I know I'm not talking as much, but right now, like the the dialogue is just working itself for me. So remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the video around, and don't forget to come back for more. And until the next time, my buddy, I'm Fletcher Stump with Radioactive Inc. Signing off. Thank you.